Hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News. Today, I want to tell you about why we shouldn't get complacent on gun control and how North Carolina is doubling down on old-timey Jim Crow laws. But before we get started, I want to tell you about TNBC.com! Night vision devices for people who need gratuitous amounts of seeing in the dark. With all new flavors like sour apple green phosphor, white cherry phosphor, and beer. See, you'll be good at it. Science, night vision, science, night vision. TNVC night vision is made with real dark matter. You'll be so good at seeing, you'll be able to see through time. Okay, so first off today is some news about what's not happening anymore. Then. I'm gonna find the dude what makes special shoes and pay him not to make special shoes. The comment periods for braces and receivers have closed and anti-gun lobbyist David Chipman's nomination for ATF AFT. director has been withdrawn. But that's no reason for us to take our eyes off those balls. Uncle Touchy's secret basement wonderland still plans to appoint Chipman to a position within the AFT which does not require congressional approval. There isn't much we can really do about that either, and let's be honest, Manchimp was just Stranger Danger's opening gambit. He's now free to nominate pretty much anyone he wants, and when they face any opposition whatsoever, he can just throw his hands up and declare we're being unreasonable. Or he could just appoint Beto as acting director and skip congressional approval. Don't get me wrong, it was right to oppose Chipman, and you all deserve congratulations for stopping the nomination. Just don't think we're finished. Wait till I get going! Where was I? Same goes for the proposed rules on receivers and braces. The AFT will now consider the arguments offered during the comment period and will likely amend their rules. They may offer the revised rules for public comment or they might just adopt them. Remember, these rules are not law. They are simply guidelines the AFT uses to decide whether or not to file charges in any given case. The fact they are at least attempting to be open about criteria is mostly positive, and frankly, I hope they step in it and charge someone for possessing an unregistered SBR because I think it's real likely they could lose broadly. Nevertheless, Stay in touch with your public servants, regardless of which team they're playing on, and make sure they know where you stand. As you know, the North Carolina legislature repealed their pistol permit purchase, but racist Governor Roy Cooper refused to let Jim Crow fade into its rightful place in the septic tank of history, and he vetoed the repeal. Now, North Carolina politicritters are trying to double down on the institutional racism with a long gun permit purchase. If passed, residents of North Carolina would have to seek the state's permission before purchasing any rifle or shotgun. The original pistol purchase permit was written and enforced by racist men in a racist age with the explicitly racist intent of preventing people of color from owning pistols. The fact that people participating in the system are no longer necessarily racist has no bearing on the fact it continues to have racist outcomes according to its racist origins. And while the new law isn't officially intended to serve the same purpose, it will likewise continue to produce the same racist outcomes the original law was designed to produce because minorities and the poor are less likely to have the time or the money to submit to the burdensome permit process. Authoritarian enthusiasts are also pushing a red flag law, because of course they are. Red flag laws, also known as barrier guns in the woods laws, allow people to send armed agents of the state to someone's home to seize some of their property. After all, if someone is paranoid and dangerous, why arrest them and assess their mental health when you could confirm their paranoid delusions while also angering them by seizing some of their property? I mean, we could probably just assume the sheriffs were able to locate every weapon they owned and they didn't hide their guns in their walls or bury them out in the woods, right? Both of these laws, House Bill 525 and House Bill 623, are stalled in committee, but North Carolina politicritters plan to file discharge petitions to get them out on the floor for a vote. So, 
Regardless of which state you live in, please do your part to stop these bills. And right now, call 919-733-4111 and ask to speak to any one of their wide selection of barrel-aged politicians. Just give them a zip code somewhere in North Carolina and let them connect you. Then hang up and call again until you get bored. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I just want to take the time to remind you to check to see whether you are still subscribed to our channel. Our robot overlords in the tube of views know what we want better than we do for ourselves. So they just go ahead and unsubscribe viewers from any channels which happen to express wrong think like this one. You folks out there know censorship makes puppies cry, and Captain America is very disappointed. So don't forget to check every now and then just to be sure you're still subscribed to us. While you're at it, make sure you ring that notification bell so you never miss a word of our gun rights propaganda. And if you want to get email alerts for the best deals, projects we're working on, and the <laughs> hottest stuff you missed on the ARFCOM forums, you'll also find a link in the doobly-doo for our newsletter. And remember, if you want to help us keep bringing you banger content like this, please support the folks who support us. Not only does TNVC.com give you night vision with that cool, refreshing, never bitter taste that goes down smooth, they also have mounts, lights, and all sorts of other gear to make you the bump in the night. I love you. Bangs his head around on the ground and then he comes back into the bar and the bartender says, I thought I told you we don't serve strings around here. Are you, are you a string? And he says, nope, I'm afraid not.